So uh, Professor Liu is going to show you how to do number three. So number three, we want to prompt the user to enter 12. Number one to 12, that's 12 months. So this program will display the month number and the days corresponding to the number. For example, if you put eight, I'm going to say August has 31 days. Understand that? So for this program, so we talk about 12, 12, 12 different months, 12 different months. Is that right? So 12 different months right here. So gentlemen and ladies, tell me what would be a better structure? Continue use if else, or there's another structure we can learn. Anybody? Anybody? So we want to use switch structure. Okay, we want to use switch structure. So that's how we do it. So first, for this question number three, we're going to do the month day, uh, month zero, okay, and month string. So first up here, then you want to do scanner in. So uh, it's a uh, integer, okay. Now we're not going to do if else. We're going to switch, and the switch based on your month. It's okay, based on month. All right, so we base on that. Then each one that start from this case one. All right, well your case one, then you're going to say this. You're going to say, oh my, uh, months string and will, will be equal to this okay once you finish that you must put a break that's a rule all right then you're going to continue this, all right? You're going to continue this and for the rest of months, okay? So, sorry. So, I'm going to have a case two right now. And this is February. And uh, we're going to put 28 days, okay? Of course, we're going to control with a leap year later in the future, okay? So now we are going to do this right now. The two is done. Let's do three. All right, so March. All right, and break. And four.
Right, so once I finish all these, okay, then I'm going to have the last one. Okay, I'm going to have a default. All right, so the default, and here uh, the mount string is uh, invalid. Mm, okay, say uh, is month is uh, 0 to 12. All right, so tell them that. Now, uh, I finish this messy thing right here, so your user can do this. So as soon as I finish this, I do sys out, and uh, we say, um, uh, mm, the month and the day is then you're going to plus your uh, month string. Okay, you're going to plus that. All right, so let's run it right now. So you run with the Java application. Okay, so then. Um, so you first, if you put 13, uh, it is to tell you, you know, hey, you cannot do anything, okay? Now you are going to run it one more time. So run as a Java application. Now uh, let's put, uh, it's July right now, so let's put 7. So the month of day is July has 31 days, all right? So now, uh, this is a, a structure statement. Just don't forget, key, key thing you need to remember is your variable goes to here. Switch, switch on this, switch on, we switch based on this variable. And they are all case. Every single case must end with break. Every single case must, don't be lazy, must with a break. And the last one we control right here. We can, this is our last control, okay? So you give me something else, I'm controlled right here. Uh, that will be invalid, I'll tell you that. All right, so I hope you like this program, and I hope, uh, you know, you learn something from structure.